well for what they deal with from Monday through Saturday. That's why believers can't wait to come back to Sunday. They remain babies. A church that thrives, that arrives only on miracle and events, you only have a nursery. You can never have a military base. Number four, God created us in his image, offers us the honor of partnering with him in his sacred work of stewarding the whole earth. And we're going to be held accountable for our stewardship. Work in the new heaven and new earth will be like the way it was in Eden. If you read the Bible, work is the only institution given by God that will last forever. Revelation 21, 22, there was no more temple. 22, to 22 verse 3 government disappears Matthew Mark 12 25 family disappears say so there will be no marriage right? or no, 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 given a marriage right but work will continue when you get to read Jeremiah 31 5 Isaiah 65 so the full comprehension of who we are individually and corporately is best understood in the context of the fact that we are put here as an extension of the Godhead. God can only come to earth through his church. The Bible did not say that if the politicians will craft a good manifesto and design a good campaign program, then I will look from heaven. Right? Did he say that? No. He said, if my own people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, right? That's where it starts from. To humble yourself means to acknowledge God's authority, God's lordship. Right? And pray. Depend on him, not your own strength. And then turn from their wicked ways. To be wicked doesn't mean you are Boko Haram. To be wicked means you are not balanced as regards truth. You are twisted concerning truth. Turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. And I will heal their land. Finally, finally, like Paul. Colossians 3, 7. Whatever you do, whatever, right? Cobbler, tailor, bricklayer, pastor, apostle, evangelist, politician, whatever you do, in word or deed, do all as if it's Jesus that is doing it. I rest my case. Please give the woman's applause to Reverend Dr. Dutton Raju. What a wonderful presentation. Reverend Dr. Raju is an educationist. He's a pastor of one of the local churches in Jos. He's a sociologist. The one who is committed to integrating faith with work. As I told you, he's based in Joss. And you can see with his presentation that he's loaded, anointed, dedicated for this special service. We are sincerely grateful to you.